neighbors, and welcome to another Moment of Science with the Danville Science Center. I'm Science Ben, and today we're experimenting with electrolytes. Sports drinks companies spend a lot of money trying to convince athletes that their product is full of replenishing electrolytes. Electrolytes are important minerals that escape our bodies through sweat, often after strenuous workouts. Water is great for hydration, but lacks these important salts. Are sports drinks the answer to high performance recovery? Electrolytes dissociate into ions when in solution. These ions have the capacity to conduct electricity. We developed an experiment to test the concentration of electrolytes in several different post-workout beverages. We arranged wires and a battery into an open circuit. Placing a conductive material between the two open terminals closes the circuit, allowing for the free flow of electrons, which are then measured by the multimeter on the other side of the circuit. We submerged the clean terminals in bowls containing bottled water, a popular sports drink, and orange juice. We recorded our findings, then repeated the experiment two more times to determine repeatability and averaged our results. After our testing, which beverage do you think was the most conductive? The water produced 1.1 milliamps of current, the spurts drink 38.8 milliamps, and the orange juice 69 milliamps. With each trial using the same nine volts of electricity, orange juice proved to have the most electrolytes by transferring the most electricity. Juice is sometimes an unpopular workout drink giving its high acidity and levels of natural sugars. But if it's electrolytes you're after, you gotta get loose with the juice. This has been another Moment of Science with the Danville Science Center. Thank you and stay curious.